if when you find dv by dt then this omega may also change this omega may also change omega may not remain constant we are considering a general case here omega may change so you again only r is constant you have one term and this is the second term you have while differentiation you have to apply product rule differentiate this keeping this as constant and then differentiate this keeping this as constant you know the chain rule so when you do that what you get is Do you get this? And this is minus ER cap. <coughs> Isn't it? This is minus ER cap. Oh, I'm sorry, there will be one omega here. So we can replace this as minus. ER cap. Now you can see the acceleration has two parts. <coughs> acceleration has two parts. One is along the radial radial vector and the other is along tangential vector. This this you can write as r into omega is v so this is a constant you can take it inside the differentiation you can break it out from the differentiation doesn't matter so you can replace this by d omega into r omega into r is v so this is simply dv by dt along tangential direction can you see and this omega square r the same value as we have found in the previous case that is along minus ER cap. ER cap we have taken outwards minus ER ca cap would be inwards. That means for the particle moving along in a circle it will have two acceleration. One along the radius and one along the tangent. The one along the tangent is simply dv by dt. The, that is just increasing the velocity of the particle. So the particle, the force that is along the tangent has nothing to do with changing the direction. It just increases the velocity along the tangent. And the other, which is along the radius, it does not increase the velocity. It just changes the direction of the particle. And both the accelerations are required in general. At least centripetal acceleration will always and always be required for the particle. Tangential acceleration may not be there. If tangential acceleration is not there, then velocity will not change. dv by dt will be zero. Velocity will remain constant and will have a uniform, circ uniform circular motion. When both are there, then the direction is also changing and the velocity is also increasing. So it's a non-uniform motion increasing or decreasing. So the velocity is changing and it is also moving in a circle when you have both the accelerations. So this is the centripetal acceleration. Its job is to change the direction of the particle. This is the tangential acceleration. Its job is just to increase the tangential velocity. Okay. Now, as you can see, tangential acceleration will be omega squared into r. Sorry, centripetal acceleration is omega squared into r. Now, I'm not carrying this minus sign because we know the direction. It is towards the center. So, we'll say centripetal acceleration is omega squared into r and the direction is towards the center. Okay. Now, uh, if you have tangential acceleration, that means velocity is increasing. If velocity is increasing, then v is equal to omega r. r is, if r is constant, velocity is increasing omega has to increase then the centripetal acceleration will also have to increase so actually if you have tangential acceleration then you must have well, as you have tangential acceleration then centripetal acceleration will also change it cannot remain constant both are dependent on the variable omega velocity if there is tangential acceleration velocity is going to change omega is going to change omega is going to change then centripetal acceleration is going to change We'll have those comparisons and analysis as we move on. But for now, there are four important formulas that you have got in your pocket. 
first v is equal to omega r parallel to this you have tangential acceleration is equal to omega into alpha and the second centripetal acceleration is omega square into r or you can replace omega by v by r and you'll get v square by r so these are the formulas that we have learned up till now their derivation derivation of the centripetal acceleration is something that you must know and you must practice